Hey guys, we need to be able to graph in slope intercept form all year long. And slope intercept form, hopefully you remember, is y equals mx plus b. Our favorite form for some reason, y equals mx plus b. It actually is probably the favorite because it's very easy to graph because the b is the y-intercept, it's where it crosses the y-axis, and the m is the slope, and slope is just rise over run. So we're going to have an easy time making sure that we can graph these nine equations onto these graphs. It's going to be great. Are you ready? Okay, let's take a look. The first graph that we're going to make is for the equation y equals x plus 3. When we graph in slope intercept form, the very first thing that we do is we look at the y intercept. And I can see that my y intercept here in this equation is positive 3. So that means on the y axis, I go up to positive 3, 1, 2, 3, and I make my very first point. Then I look at my slope. The slope is the number that's in front of your x. Now, I don't see any number here, but I do know technically that means that there is a 1. A slope of 1 from that y-intercept would mean I'm going up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1. I can also go down 1 to the left 1, down 1 to the left 1, down 1 to the left 1 to continue and make as many points on that line as I can. So we plot the y-intercept first, sorry for the sloppy y-intercept point. And then we go ahead, we make our slope from that y-intercept, and lastly, we connect our points to make our line. Excellent. Let's take a look at the next one. y equals x minus 1. Negative 1 is my y-intercept. So on my y-axis, I go down to a negative 1, and I make my first point. From that point, I go ahead and I plot my slope. The number in front of my x that's being multiplied by it is, again, a 1. And a slope of 1 would tell me from my y-intercept to go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, and so on. I would then be able to go ahead, connect those points, and I have the line for my equation. Next one. Let's take a look at y equals 2x plus 3. I see that this has a y-intercept at positive 3. So on the y-axis, I go up to positive 3, 1, 2, 3. That's where I make my first point. The slope in this equation is positive 2. So I'm not going up 1 to the right 1. Instead, I'm going up 2 to the right 1 and making a point. I can also, from that point, go down 2 to the left 1, down 2 to the left 1. And that would continue a slope of positive 2. I would go ahead, make my straight line going through my points. And that's what the graph of y equals 2x plus 3 would look like. Let's take a look at the next three. y equals negative 2x. Now, I don't see any number that's at the end of my equation, my plus b, which means that my y-intercept is 0 because there's really a 0 there. We just don't see it. My slope is negative 2. Well, a slope of positive 2 said to go up 2 to the right 1. A slope of negative 2 tells you to go down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1. That's what a negative slope would look like. Instead of going down 2 to the right 1, I can also go up 2 to the left 1, up 2 to the left 1, and so on. I'm going to connect my points with a nice straight line, and that's what y equals negative 2x looks like. Next one, y equals negative x plus 3. Okay, our y-intercept is at positive 3, so on the y-axis I go up to positive 3, I make my first point. My slope is a negative 1. A slope of negative 1 would tell me to go down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, and so on. I also could go up and to the left, up and to the left. You'll see it extends the line beautifully. I go ahead, I connect my points, and that's what my graph would look like. Next one also has a y-intercept again of positive 3. So I go on the y-axis up to positive 3, but this one has a slope of negative 3. So if negative 2 meant to go down 2 to the right 1, and negative 1 is down 1 to the right 1, then negative 3 is down 3 to the right 1. So from this starting point, I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, to the right 1, and that's what a slope of negative 3 would look like, down 3 to the right 1. I can't make any points going in either direction, so I would technically be done there. I'm going to draw a line going through my points, and I have my graph. Last three. Y-intercept first of negative 4. So that means on my y-axis, I go down to a negative 4. I make my first point. 
I have a slope of one half. So a slope of one half would tell me to rise one, run two. So up one to the right two, up one to the right two. I also can go down one to the left two. Let's go ahead, connect our points. And that's the equation. That's the graph for that equation. Next one, y-intercept is at positive one. So that means on my y-axis, I go up to positive one. My slope is negative three over two. I always send my negative to my numerator. You could send it to the denominator. You could do either one. I tend to always send it to my numerator. I feel like it's easier to work with it when it's in the numerator. So negative three divided by two would tell me to go down three. So one, two, three, and then to the right two, one, two. That's what a slope of negative three over two would look like. Again, down three to the right two. I also can go up three and then to the left two if I wanted to continue my line going in the other direction. Last problem, y-intercept, negative three. So on my y-axis, I go down to a negative three. That's my first point. I then look at my slope. My slope is four-thirds, positive four-thirds. So that would tell me from the y-intercept, I need to go up four units, one, two, three, four, and then to the right three, one, two, three. That's what a slope of four-thirds would look like. Again, from the y-intercept of negative three, I'm going up four, one, two, three, four, and then to the right three, one, two, three. I connect my points and I have my line. That was easy. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.